the gift of faith is in this room. If we're going into Canaan, then we're going to need to learn how to flow because it is a land that flows with milk and honey. And the Spirit of God is going to teach us how to flow. Great strides have been taken in the Holy Ghost in the last several hours, days, and months. And God is bringing us to a focal point where we can flow with Him. And in that flow, there's all kinds of things from God that God releases in the flow. There's healings in this house. There's people that will be filled with the Holy Ghost in this room. There is a flow of the Spirit of God in this room. And we would be insane to hear what we've heard and not exercise and begin to practice what has been preached into our hearts amen I want to turn your attention to a very simple subject in Luke chapter 8 verse 43 thank you brother Goddard and all the sponsors you are so kind. I'm not the greatest at accolades, but I can say thank you from the bottom of my heart for letting me be a small part of what's happening here. Hmm. Reach over one hand on somebody and ask God to help them to flow but the Spirit of God that is moving so richly in this building. God, obviously we are desirous to come to that place. Lord, as a body, as it were to Canaan, Lord, now help us to learn how to live in this dimension, move in this dimension, and have our being in this dimension. Don't be shocked at what happens to someone tonight when you lay their hand on them, when you lay your hand on them. Don't be shocked. We've been waiting for this time for a long time. Luke chapter 8, verse 43. And a woman having an issue of blood, 12 years, which had spent all her living upon physicians, neither could be healed of any came behind him and touched the border of his garment and immediately her issue of blood staunched and Jesus said who touched me when all denied Peter and they that were with him said master the multitude throng thee and press thee and sayest thou who touched me and Jesus said somebody Somebody hath touched me. For I perceive that virtue has gone out of me. And when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling and falling down before him, she declared unto him before all the people, For what cause? She had touched him and how she was healed immediately. And he said unto her daughter, Be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace. 
the Holy Ghost would speak to us and help us on breaking into the flow. Breaking into the flow. Hmm. You may be seated. Obviously, she had suffered for 12 long years. And this woman was wrapped up in her condition, not in her deliverance. She was wrapped up in her circumstance, not in her victory. She was wrapped up in her problem and not in her solution. But something obviously happened to her to cause her to be unwrapped. Something apparently happened in her ears that caused her to hear something that changed her mind. She had tried a particular way for 12 years. She was locked into a system. But something had enough power in it to cause her to change her mind. Somebody spoke some words loud enough and strong enough and full of faith enough to cause her understanding to realize there is a solution. There is a resolve. There is something that can happen even after being locked into this traditional way of doing things for 12 years. You know who she heard? There was an old boy. He was demon possessed. God had delivered him at the gate of Gadara. And something got a hold of him and he had faith in his heart that filled his mouth. And one day he was walking through the streets. I don't know which day, but certainly it was one day after 12 years and she overheard a conversation amen because you can't hear unless there's a preacher amen but there was a preacher in that place that began to speak faith into the land of the Gergesenes and when this woman heard that Jesus had the power to change this kind of life She got a mission in her heart. I'm after a miracle. I've been trying to find it for 12 years. I've spent all my money. I've tried the traditional route. Now I've got to go against all odds. Because I've got nothing else left. And she heard that Jesus could heal. You know, simple faith can produce a platform for a miracle. You don't even have to know him to get a miracle. You just have to believe him. There was a woman in Ethiopia and she was a Muslim, had been a Muslim all of her life. And she was blind for 20 years or so. And she decided that she would come to a crusade where Jesus was preached. Why? 
because in her village she heard somebody say Jesus the healer is coming to Aura Jesus the healer is coming to Aura I think it's time that when you get to your job after a Sunday night service that you walk through the corridors of your place and say Jesus the healer is in New Brunswick Jesus the healer is in Nova Scotia Jesus the healer is in Vancouver Jesus the healer is in Windsor and when she heard she said you must take me to where this Jesus is and so they brought her over 50 miles walking to this crusade and when she got there, she raised her hands as the word of God was spoken. And immediately her eyes opened. And God not only opened her eyes, but he also filled her with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. She came to the platform. She said, today something has happened to me that has never happened before she said all my life I pray to Allah Allah never hear me never do one thing for me I come to your place I pray to Jesus one time he opened my eyes she said today I came as a Muslim but today I leave as a Christian God. and we've got to learn how to flow so people can hear the sound of the current there's a certain sound that comes from a flow. You can't get that from a fountain. You can't get that from a waterfall. But there's a certain sound that does certain things. When you get by the flow, lay your hand on your neighbor right now and ask Jesus to help them flow. That's it. Pray. 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 Jesus, we are entering in unto the places that you have ordained for us, O oh God. And God, we pray now upon our brothers and sisters and saints of God and leaders to loose a flow within us here now today to follow the things of your spirit for they that are led of the spirit they are the sons of God clap your hands unto the Lord clap your hands unto Jesus the author and finisher of our faith go ahead go ahead that's it a little fervently there is a flow of the divine holy spirit that is rising in this sanctuary to do the works of God This woman had a blood flow problem. The word is rusis, which comes from romai, which is the idea of a current. She was in the wrong current. 
and some of us have been trying to flow in the wrong current let me divert for a moment and just say perhaps for you it's not an issue of blood perhaps it's another issue But I'm telling you that there's enough current of the Holy Ghost in this house to take care of every issue that dwells in the sanctuary in and out of this place. God wants to change the current that some of us are flowing in. Because he's been desirous to give us the current that brings calcium. You know what calcium does? Calcium strengthens the bones. God is wanting to strengthen the structure of the body of Christ. The skeletal structure. And God must first get us in the current in order for the milk to work. Madahatakaye. There's healing coming to nerves right now. If you have nervous problems, you're taking sleeping pills, you can't get over not being able to sleep at night, raise your hands all over the building if you are suffering from nerves. Oh, don't do that. Amen. Lift your hands if you have a nerve situation in your body. I know you're here, and we're going to take time for it. No, we're not ready yet. We're going to take time for it. See, that's the problem. We don't know how to quite flow yet. You say, well, if I lift my hands, they'll know I'm having trouble. That's pride. Stop that. You're in the wrong current. Let me help you because I don't want to embarrass you at this point now. So everybody grab somebody's hand. And we're all going to lift them together. I know you're here. There's about 50 of you in this congregation. I want you to lift your hands and let the current of the Holy Spirit that flows with milk and honey in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth according to the flow the virtue that dwelt in this house I loose upon the healing from the top of your nervous system to the bottom thereof unto your stomach through your neck and back and legs unto your hands and feet in Jesus name for this is the rest wherewith he causes the weary to rest and this is the refreshing oh clap your hands all ye people under God someone lift your voice someone lift your spirit get in to the flow Let's do that a little bit more, would you? That's all right. That's all right. That's right. Some of you are touching the floor with your toes and you're understanding it's okay. It feels okay to walk inside of this river. Some of you are touching it for the first time, but I want you to go ahead and not fear anything. Don't worry. There's enough elders in here to keep us in line. I've got a bank on this side, and I've got another bank on this side. 
So if I get in the river, I don't have to worry about becoming a swamp. Amen. But I'm in the flow of the Holy Ghost. And the tighter my banks are, the faster I'm going to flow. The higher my banks are, the deeper I'm going to go. Oh, clap your hands again. There is something transitioning in the spirit dimension in this house. If little faith could be sufficient for Peter to walk on water in a storm, and if ye of little faith caused Jesus to arise and calm the storm, then we don't need more faith. We just need less doubt. You see, if you get rid of all your doubt, you have the faith as the grain of a mustard seed. Well, you know, I'm gonna, I, I, I'll get healed, but, and if I've heard it once, I've heard it 150,000 times. Are you healed? Well, I don't feel anything right now. You're given some room just in case the manna doesn't show up tomorrow. But what you need to do when you begin to hear the sound of the flow and you begin to feel its effect in the honey. Honey brings strength. And strength is coming to your physical body right now. And the cell work, even the white cells in your body, that have become deficient in your frame, are being strengthened right now by the flow that's flowing in the current of the spirit through your vessel. Nah. There goes pain, arthritis, you're leaving, loosing the joints of the body. Ah. She said, I had pain before and it's all gone now. Get in the flow. Get in the flow. Get in the flow. There's milk in it. There's honey in it. There's deliverance in it. Say, Lord, I believe. Help thou my unbelief. Get rid of it crush it to powder and make me eat it and turn into faith in Jesus name lift your hands and I want you to chew up your doubt right now I want you to chew it up because it's about to turn into faith because there's enough faith in the digestive system of the Holy Ghost in this place right now to turn that into faith Mm. Flow, 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 flow. He said it got up to the ankles. Amen. And then it got up to the knees. And then it got up to the waist. And then it got up to the chest. And then there were waters deep enough to swim in. God is helping us to get in the flow. Swimming. 
clap your hands again and again there is something about to break forth in the flow of the Holy Ghost She said, I've got to get in the flow. You see, she had to press against a law that had been written some time ago. Do you think that when people got around Jesus, they could feel the presence of God? Don't you know that when they drew close to him, there was something that began to happen to them? He was God, manifest in flesh. And when they would get near him, they could feel a certain flow. They didn't understand it, but they wanted it. But everybody was afraid to touch it. Because there was a law precedence that had been set up back in the book of Exodus. In the 19th chapter, in the 12th verse, that said, And thou shalt set bounds unto the people round about, saying, Take heed to yourself that ye go not up into the mountain or touch the border of it. Whosoever touches the mount shall be surely put to death. There shall not a hand touch it. But he shall surely be stoned or shot through. Whether it be beast or man, it shall not live. When the trumpet soundeth long, they shall come up to the mount. But they can't touch it or they'll be killed. That was where the presence of God overwhelmed. And there was a mentality, a mindset that said, you wait until he touches you. You don't touch it. But this woman had a need that superseded the tradition of that day. And she said, I got to get through all this flesh. I got to get to the flow. Lift your hands and pray that prayer. I've got to get to the flow. Not just here, but when I get back home. God, you're changing my mind in this service, in the service previous to this. You have been changing our minds, and now we've got to get to the flow, Lord. Surely our flesh is going to rise up and say you can't go there. But Lord, you have already spoken. You have already implemented the word. You have already laid the seed. And I must, I must, I must, I must get to the flow. Because up to this point in your New Testament, no one had ever touched him. No one. In Mark chapter 3 verse 10, it said that many were healed in so much that they pressed upon him for to touch him. In Luke 6, 19, it said, And the whole multitude sought. But nobody had ever broken through. But after this woman touched him, you can find in your Bible where people touched the hem of his garment.
And while you in this service break forth and touch the flow, you are going to open a gate in Canada. You hear what the prophet is telling you right now. Thus saith the word of the Lord. You are going to open a gate that shall cause a flood of my spirit to saturate by the flow thereof. Clap your hands a little bit. Let that digest. Let that digest. No, no, we're not going to wait and see if it happens. It's happening right now, right here, in a defining moment of the Spirit of God. Another hatakata. If you're going to touch him in this service, in the place of the flow, stand up. You're making a statement. Mm. No rahasha katai. Mm. 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 Somebody has touched me. Somebody broke through. For I perceive that virtue. That word of virtue in the Greek is, believe it or not, dunamis. I perceive that what you got after that, the Holy Ghost came upon us. For ye shall receive dunamis, flow, spiritual flow. All we have to do is release that flow to work its works through us in this house. Forget the issue. The issue is being healed while the flow is working. Now, if you're sick in your body, raise your hand. Okay. Pay attention to who's around you with their hand raised. Keep your hand raised. Okay. If you're financially miserable and you pay your tithes, raise your hand. You got a financial situation and you need a miracle. If you're a pastor and you need a miracle in finances, raise your hand. There's milk and honey in here. If you've been depressed or fatigued or discouraged or fearful or nervous or lonely or wounded or any other category I didn't just mention, raise your hand. There is enough flow in this place. I want, if you would, please, elders, to get at the edge of the platform here. We're going to extend our hands across this congregation in just a moment. I want you to find a person not next to you. Get out of where you're at and find somebody in this building that you can minister to. 
And if you find somebody that doesn't have the Holy Ghost, you are going to pray them through to the Holy Ghost. While the flow is moving, they're going to begin to speak in other tongues. If you're praying for somebody that's sick, first find them. Right now. Right now. Quickly. Please. Move. Now. Out of your seat and find someone that we can minister to. Everyone say believers. believers. Say baptized believers. Baptized. Shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. We shall speak with new tongues. Mm. The issue is going to be consumed in the river. Now I want you to get in front of that person directly and I want you to ask them what it is you're praying for. Quickly. Don't take forever to explain it. Just explain it quickly. I need this, I need that, I need the other to happen in my church. Okay, now we're ready. Say amen. amen. Say amen again. Amen. Say I am ready to receive what's in the flow. Lay your hand on that person's head. Now by the authority of the word of God and by the power of the name of Jesus Christ and by the anointing that is upon me as a man of God, I command you to receive the deliverance of the flow. Pray ye run for react. Loose it, loose it, loose it. It is here. Pray. Who touched me? Who touched me? Get into the flow. Get in. Haroko, salabarokota. I loose you from sickness. I loose you from disease. I loose. Jesus. Jesus. See. Celebrocota. Minister in the flow. Don't stop. Don't stop. Minister in the flow. Salabarokoto. He kanamara. Salabarokota. That's it. There are spiritual manifestations being loose right now. Get ready to sing. Rocosa, talada, mamá. 